Hi, this is Glenda. Uh, this is some bits and pieces and uh, a tool I haven't been using. So anyway, I thought I'd show you the cards I got for Mother's Day. This is from my littlest daughter, uh, who's the mother of my grandchildren, and she's really into card making and very arty and everything, um, and I thought that was gorgeous. My older daughter hates card making. She's very crafty but doesn't do cards. However, she watched my tutorial on the tassels and she's made a gorgeous tassel. She said she did it exactly the same way as I showed, but hers is so much better than mine. Um, but she said she used a rayon thread and that does make a difference. She's also very good at that sort of thing. Um, been trying some more clean and simple. I tried masking, um, which I don't know that I've done before. Um, so that was that one. Um, this one, uh, I used the raffia um, and straightened it out and stamped on it, um, which is not terribly original, but I thought I'd show it anyway. I did some feather stamping, um, and literally I had a, a white feather, you ink it up and stamp with it. And then I tried the suggestion that if you mat things for the clean and simple, it makes all the difference, and I think it does. Um, yep, quite a difference there. I'm not sure that's quite as clean and simple. And of course, I messed up the stamping at the bottom and had to cover it up. It happens all the time. So anyway, the point of this is this. How many of you have a fascinator sitting at home, doing nothing? I have mine on my shelf in easy reach, and I never use it. Um, and I started searching to see what hints there were of things you can do with it and there's really not a lot out there. Um, I mean it was in all the shops terribly available and yet I'm not sure people ever grasped it at all. But one thing was when it first came out the staples for it were hugely expensive and I think that put me off. I was too scungy to use it and um, it just didn't get me in the mindset of using it, but they have dropped in price a lot. So one obvious thing is to simply use it like a stapler. And I had to decide that I needed to re-educate myself not to think of it as a stapler, but as an embellishment. So this is the feather that I did my feather stamping with. It was a white cocky feather, and it came up this gorgeous colours with the ink on it. So fascinated, just attach something. Um, you can obviously also attach a bit of ribbon um, instead of a bow. So that was another obvious one. One idea I liked was instead of putting a bit of bling or pearls or something, a couple of fascinator bars um, as the embellishment. Um, this is one I really liked. I simply, one thing I did work out, if you want to put something through it, put this, the staple on first and then thread through whatever you're going to use rather than trying to line it up. Lining this thing up is one of the hardest things I think. So I just stapled it and put some tulle through it and there's a faux bow. And I was going to add all sorts of other things and then thought hang on this is seriously clean and simple. Um, as a little note card that's quite cute. A variation on the idea I threaded a lot more tulle through to make a background. Now I know not every card works but I think this idea works. Uh, you could use it on all sorts of things. So that was those. Then this is one of the ideas I liked best. I put a staple every inch and threaded my um, seam binding through, left it loose and um, I think that's really quite nice, that one. Uh, here's a, another variation on threading it through. Which way up did I have that the way? and uh, just put a bar on each end, uh, thread through some wider raffia type paper and just stuck a bow on. Um, another variation, this time I tried putting the raffia on and then stapling and for this one I think that's okay but it's it's really hard to line up. So if you want it straight and even don't do it that way. And then this last one you can attach fibres with it and um, that was on one of the websites and I thought okay that that's okay it's like the other ideas then I realized I could use it to hang my charm off 
but you'll never know quite how to attach the charm to a card so I thought that was useful so that's my fascinator um, ideas if you have other things you've come across I'd be really interested um, because like I say there just wasn't a whole lot out there as to what people have done with it I, I looked on Split Coast and a lot of the ideas were very much this just putting if you're doing a ribbon pull or something it's quite useful for that but it was all very much the same so that's get out your old tool um, idea for today and thanks for watching